What's up guys? So there's actually a couple new coffee places I want to try out in the city and we're gonna try one of them today. I'm really excited to try this place out but I always get a little bit nervous before trying out a new coffee place because you know before I go it's like it has the potential of being really good and then once I get there I find out and it could be good, it could be bad. So it's, I don't know. Uh, kind yeah. of. I have a few questions. Okay, sure. Um, so you only do pour over on the V60? Uh, actually, we're doing the Toledo wave right now. We don't have the. Mm, okay. Um, what are the pour over options? Burundi. That's our okay. Every single day, we also have Kenya on the French press. Okay. And then I think El Salvador on the coffee. We also do pour over for two on the Chemex. Oh, okay. And where do you guys source those beans? Um, so our roaster is Chopeca. They're based on okay. Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what you want? Yeah. That um, lemon lavender cold brew, yeah. is it good? Yeah. It's, um, it has lemonade in it. It's like a iced black coffee with lemonade and then lavender syrup. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get the cold brew. Okay. Just the cold brew? Yeah. And I'll do the, the Kalita. Who we are and what we sell. Okay, so every product in the shop is purposeful in some way. It's mm -hmm. either helping women um, getting out of sex trafficking or their fair trade or helping women in impoverished situations. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It's nice to see that at least it feels like specialty coffee is coming up a lot recently in Baton Rouge. Um, I mean, relatively. Uh, we went from basically zero to like three now. So it's a lot more than it was. But that place was cool. They do like uh, charity work or charity. They have charities. Partners. Yeah, partners. Charity plays a big role in their business model. Um, they employ. Uh, refugees which is really cool um, and do also like skill training so yeah coffee and humanitarianism humanitarianism good word <laughs> okay so I told you guys I'm gonna be traveling this summer and I need to book my flight I'm actually pretty behind on booking the flight there's a lot of red tape forms you got to fill out and stuff before you can actually book the flight which also has like a specific way that it has to be booked and it's really lengthy and annoying there's no reason that it should be this difficult but it is so i tend to put it off i really need to get it done so i'm getting it done now we also have to book it through this very specific weird travel agency Anytime you book travel as a state employee, you have to book it through this agency. I don't want to say they're terrible. 
I don't want to say it. They have an option to search for an airport within five miles of another air... Where on the planet is there an airport within five miles of another airport? That doesn't even make sense. I feel like I'm complaining a lot. I am getting a round trip paid for. It's just an annoying process to go through that's like beyond first world problems, I guess. All right, so I still haven't been able to get the flight booked and figured out. I'm gonna keep working on that, but I got a couple cool things in just now. Number one. Number two. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys what this is in a later video. Sorry for the cliffhanger, but if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Oh, this is nice.